What? Let's get you guys out of here. He finally updated my PP. You happy about that? There's a few things I want to go over because there's some things I do not like about this update. Okay. Some things that I don't like about this update and some things that I do like about this update. I'll go over the cons first, you know. I like hating on this game. They added the new class passives, which honestly, pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like that they added something new. Changed up the game a little, but they made snipers have 20% less flinch. What the fuck? 20% less fringe? Well, it is crazy. Having 20% less flinch on guns that already don't get flinched, even without the flinch reduction attachments, is crazy. I mean, you're just never going to get flinched with snipers. If you miss a shot because you're getting shot out with snipers, I'm going to be surprised. Like, extremely surprised. The ADS speed on uh the ADS speed attachments on snipers don't increase flinch. They increase recoil, which <laughs> gonna be honest here, who cares about recoil on a sniper? Literally no one. And I don't think anyone should. The other thing I wanna point out is how the gun feels with a dirty round. I mean you see what's wrong. When I aim in, you know, look at my arm. The arm is just really weirdly placed when you're using a 30 round. I don't like it at all. Like it, it makes this gun feel, <laughs> just feel weird. And it just doesn't look cool either. Doesn't look good, doesn't look cool. He added the M4 Classic skin as well into the shop. Which I was really happy about. I saw it and I was like excited. Um, It's kind of a disappointment. The no stock, the no stock and like the barrels that M4 used to have, like marksman barrel. If you use marksman barrel on the classic M4 skin, it actually doesn't change at all. Same with no stock. If you use no stock, the gun does not change. It does not become any different, which is really disappointing. Honestly, I'm hoping to at least have that. I mean, come on, would have been cool. Makes it feel like that old M4. That was me being branded. Never put your Magnum. I could have just super jumped up, but I, I missed the jump, so like, nah, I'm, I'm probably gonna miss the super jump. Look like a fucking idiot. Okay, nice. I like the update too. They they made the model cooler in one way and made it worse the other way. Uh, the irons are definitely a downgrade. I guess they look cooler. They look cleaner, but they're a lot less viable than the old irons. Oh, hell nah. My team can't even get out of spawn. Come on, team. Push up. This kid is still in spawn. Interesting. This dude is sitting on a nasty heady. Might need some headphones. I'm trying to think of some more positives. I definitely had some positive and bad things to say yesterday, but that was yesterday. I guess one bad thing is the uh, delay that we had. 
<laughs> extreme amount of delay. I actually started ed editing a whole like different video because I, I thought the update wasn't even going to come out on Sunday. I like, okay, I guess the update just never coming out. The gun looked really unfinished, especially with these, with the fucking hand being glitched. And on Saturday, uh, the barrels were also glitched. They were really chalked, so like, okay, this update is not coming out Sunday, I'll just get out of video, but they released it a couple hours before it turned Monday for me. Oh yeah, another cool thing, uh, the synergy between some attachments are really cool. Uh, I'm using the, is it called the combat barrel? I'm not fucking sure. Uh, it increases headshot damage on the... PP Bison, which is very nice. I like attachment like that, that increased damage. But there's a mag that makes the gun burst and what the fuck? There's a mag that makes the gun burst and the burst only does 49 damage to the head. But with this barrel, it does, it starts doing 51, 52. Which means it starts three shotting, three shot head shotting, which is really cool. I like how the you can use these two attachments and the gun just like basically changes into a whole different burst gun. Really awesome synergy. Not going to lie, I like the new NC Hill legendary. If if you're broke on this game, I probably wouldn't get it. Like honestly. I ran out of mouse pad. If you don't have credits, don't get it. <laughs> you can barely see it half the time, just like in see here. But it, it's pretty cool. I like using it. I'll probably use it because, well, I bought it. Why not use it? Not a really fucking quick game. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't know, that, that Area 51 game did not satisfy me. So there's probably going to be like a, another, another match. Don't know if it's going to be this one or if it's going to be another one, but we'll see. I like showing off good gameplay, like 100 bombs and shit. I killed IKD and whatever it is. Wanted to add on to the things I didn't like about this update is some of the attachments are just really bad there's a mag that changes the gun to have more range and more hit fire accuracy which is not needed this gun already has like perfect hit fire accuracy and you get less muzzle velocity and i think less recoil control less muzzle velocity in pp19 i mean like you gotta be brain dead to run that right gotta be a little a little silly in the silly upstairs to be running running that but this gun already has like really bad uh, fucking like extremely bad muzzle velocity so unless you're like I, I wouldn't even use it for a mobility setup i was gonna say like maybe use it for a mobility setup because it's better than normal stick mag not really you don't you don't get mobility on that 30 round you don't there's no extra mobility that it gives the, uh, like stick stick mag gives mobility but the same mag that has the same capacity and the same size doesn't give extra mobility. Uh, like there's like no reason to run it. You don't even get that much range either. Like it's really not worth it. There's some other attachments I'm kind of forgetting right now, but but most of the attachments have more cons than pros, which is crazy, crazy to me. There's a reason people use universal attachments over stuff like stocks and barrels, and it's because universals are much less confusing to the average noob they don't need to read like they don't know what all that recoil control recoil acceleration recoil deacceleration means so it's just a lot simpler for that average bad business player to be like okay this gives me recoil this give me this gives me less recoil i'll i'll run this and sometimes on some of the attachments there's just like there's a con just so there can be a con like there's no reason for there to be a con there just is a con we also gotta make, gotta stop making those flipped recoil attachments. Like, please, please stop making flipped recoil stocks. No one's gonna actually use them, right? Wait, we gotta realize that. I also think a cool, uh, some cool stocks that could be added. Maybe on this gun, maybe every gun in the game is a. 
There's a there's an attachment on Icicle Launcher that increases the ADS mobility. If we got an ADS mobility stock, that would be really cool. There could also be stocks with like a minor pro, just like we have with a uh, universal attachments, like lightweight grip, where it gives you like 10% less recoil, but you don't have a con. St stocks like that would be would be really nice, where there's just no cons, just a really small buff, or have stocks that or barrel attachments. I, I'm saying I'm just saying stocks, but just non-universal attachments to put together that have two pros and one con.